I'm Melissa. And I'm Becca. And I'm going to casually snack on gummy bears. And I'm going to drink my coffee. This entire time. No gummy bears for you, though. Because I can. No. Yes, my tummy does. <laughs> my tummy is hard. You're the one today. that ate all them gummy worms yesterday. Well, why would you keep giving them the to, to me? You Here, took, have gummy bear. Here, have gummy bear. You took the bag. Or the, gummy worm. Whatever you took there. the bag, though, and finished it off. Okay. Unprovoked. Okay. Unprovoked. You said, can yeah. I have that bag? Anyways, so we are here today to do our own original book tag, Woo! which we're excited about. I'm gonna get elbowed in the yeah, face. Yeah, you are. I have long arms. I'm gonna get. I really am gonna get hit. In the face. <laughs> Happened one time. But we did want to run an idea across you guys and see if you guys have any interest mm -hmm. in this. But this is something we're really thinking we are going to do. Yeah. And we're thinking about maybe doing late night chats with Becca. Who's that? Who's that weirdo? Oh, that's me! Um, so we're thinking about doing that. And it's not only where we talk about books, but we talk about other things like movies, TV, I mean, just things that we just spark our interest that day. Yeah. I mean, it could be anything. Oh. Go! The dog totally just moved that. Ugh. Hang on, I gotta move it back. Sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, buddy. I know. The but, other dog's been being mean to him, so he's yeah. feeling a little unloved. Not like I didn't scratch him for five minutes when I got here, but I did. But anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, please uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, if it's something you guys might be interested in because it's something that we're really thinking about doing it's yeah. something that we're really interested in doing so with all that being said uh, my kid yeah anyways with all that being said we are gonna do you ready for this yes the superstore So, Superstore is one of the uh, TV shows that we really enjoy, and we watch so it together good. every time a new episode comes out. Yeah, we, we do. always watch it together. It's on Hulu if you haven't seen it. Yes. And if you've worked in retail, that's especially oh my bandit. That's especially why we like it. We both worked in retail. Mm -hmm. I currently work in retail. Yep. And some of it, you're like, no, 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 no. But some of you're like, oh yeah. You're like, oh my gosh. Yes. yes. Let's just all admit though, who have seen it. Marcus would have been fired after like oh, you a, know. a week. week. It would have been a week and he and would have been gone. Like, other, come on. The other thing that gets me, no self-respecting person who works in retail wears heels. Yeah, what the hell is up with that? Are you kidding me? You like, have you would have blisters the size of Texas in an hour. You would be dying so in heels. So much. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. That's an argument. Those are just things we needed to like get out there. I'm like. I can deal with the hair down, because some mm. girls do, and some of the other things, but we all know heels are an out. Why, yeah, Who? why would you torment yourself like yeah, that? Like, me. seriously? Just burped. That's just insane. Insane. But, Play anyways, seriously. so, we took the, char like, the main characters yeah. uh, from the show, and we made questions to match that character. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to get into this. Awesome. So, so the first one we uh, chose is Glenn, and yeah. if you've seen the show, you know. You know Glenn. You know Glenn. You know Glenn. Come on. He's like the store manager. Yeah, he is. Uh, so the question is, a character that tries to see the best in everyone. Because Glenn tries to see the best in everybody. I picked, if I have a mouthful of gummy bear. I gotta sip my coffee down. Where's my um, Peter from The Hunger Game. Because he, he tries to see the best in people and mm -hmm. be kind, especially be kind to everyone, which in a way I think is seeing the best in everyone because you don't, you're not kind to people if you don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, in retail, we all have that fake smile. Yeah. Yes, it's over in aisle five. Let me show you for the third time this week. Yeah. We don't say the third time. It's like, well, let me show you. In your mind, you're thinking, oh my gosh. I've like, shown you three times this week. Yeah. Like, and it hasn't moved. We haven't reset the store, friend. It's still there. Mm. Or some things when they do reset the store and it's still in the same place. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a bunny trail. So the one I chose for this is Leah from A Kiss of Deception. Mm -hmm. um, she, even though she finds out who the assassin is that's trying to kill her, mm -hmm. she still tries to see the best in him. Yeah. Um, so I really like her character. So I chose her. Awesome. Awesome. 
So, the next character is Amy. Uh, and the question is, a character that cares deeply for somebody but won't do anything about it. Because, you know. let's be real, like, Amy mm -hmm. and Jonah, come on, she cares for, for Jonah. For sure. Like, day one, he, like, really annoyed really her. Really annoyed her, but, like, After day two, or, After a week, or, come like, on. Yeah. We saw it, we all we saw it. We all saw it, come Even on. Even Jonah was starting to pick up on it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, I picked Simon from the Mortal Instrument series. I, I've read the first book and seen the first... Um, season of Shadowhunters, we all know. And what was annoying about him is he got like not just regular jealous, like because he liked her, but wouldn't do anything about it. He got a little bit jealous of his friend when she started like Chase. He got annoying jealous. Yeah, he got like, like mean angry jealous. jealous. Yeah, yeah, angry really jealous. Mean, mean it's like, jealous. It's like you didn't do nothing about it. Yeah, you never said anything. She's got every right to date whomever she wants. Yeah. Yep. She she 18. She a proper grown up. Yep. She can date whoever she pleases. Thank you. Uh oh, so the one I chose for this is Kazan and Nesta mm -hmm. from A Court of Wings and Ruins. Um we it's very obvious in this book that they really like each other, but they don't do anything about it. And I'm not sure it could be the circumstance that they're in. But it's very obvious yeah. that both of them care for the other one. Yeah. I mean, she she risked her life to save him. Come on! Yeah. So, the next character is Jonah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A character desperate for approval. <laughs> oh, gosh. You want me to go first or are you going to go first? I'm snacking. Oh, she's snacking. So, I'll go first. I'm hungry. So, the character I chose for this is Malfoy from the uh, Harry Potter series. I feel like he is always so desperate for approval, mm, so he acts so out much. in just kind of a mean bully type way, mm -hmm. but he's still desperate for that approval. Oh, you wait till you get I further mean, in. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Oh, but, man. But, yeah, I, I really think he's he's Jonah. Like. <laughs> so much. So much. I picked Maven from the Red Queen. Cause he's so desperate for approval from, from uh, Mare, Mare, mm -hmm. and from his mom and, and his from mom. his stepdad, yeah, stepbrother, half brother actually, half brother, half brother, yeah. But he wants to be this approval, but he goes, has a weird way of going about he it. Does. He does. You get to the you, I mean, further on, although King's Cage. Ah, that's another video. That's a whole another video. Maybe oh, that would be our first video. We've had so many discussions about this. Oh yeah. So many. It, but he it does. He us. really just he he's so desperate for approval mm -hmm. and doesn't know how to get it, and so then he goes about it in the wrong way. Because mm -hmm. we all want some approval, but he's yeah. like yeah. He, he like reeks of desperation. Oh yeah, he does. He does. So the next character is Dina because <laughs> who doesn't love Dina? I do. I actually really like Tina. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, awesomely crazy. Love that. And when we were figuring out the answer, or like the questions to this, hers was so, so obvious. We just knew it right immediate. away. I can't snap properly. <sighs> I hurt my snapping finger. Um, so, uh, the question is, a character insane but insecure. Because she is insane. But yeah, we is. also think she's a little insecure. <sighs> I mean, come on. I predicted Galley for the Maze Runner. He, oh, uh, he's so crazy. And, like, a lot of these people in here are crazy based on the boys, based on a situation. But he's so insecure. Like, the way he goes about trying to get what he wants, he's mean from day one for just the sake of being mean, even though he's been in the same situation as Thomas. And, like, even Newt and I forget the other guy what's the leader is, like, seriously, dude? Yeah. We've all been there. Mm -hmm. And they're a little bit mean as any initiation, particularly with teen boys, can be. But he's, like... He crazy, but you know he's just so unsure of himself and so insecure. And then I think he's almost jealous of Thomas because he remembers his name faster than anyone. He seems a lot more sure of himself despite yeah. the situation. So it's like he's jealous and insecure at the same time, which tend to go hand in hand. That dog's like Dozer. moving. Go on <laughs> the tower. He's moving my camera. We're not. It's not piled in precariously go. on something. Go I on. don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> I have a re really short tripod, and I did that because I usually sit in front of my bookcase. I don't yeah. really have a spot to stand. I mean, I could stand in the corner, but that'd be kind of cramped and awkward. Anyways, so the person I chose for this is Iris from Foolish Hearts because she is 
she's very insane, but she, when she's the, like, insane, she's mean. Like, yeah. downright mean to people. You got further in that book than I did. I did. I read the book. bored after two chapters. Um, but, like, she, she just, her insanity goes to where she's just mean to people and, like, She's like just, just for the sake of being Yeah, mean. she's just mm. downright nasty. Mm. And, but in the book, you read a little bit more, you realize that she's very insecure. Very insecure about things. So, yeah, I chose her. Mm. So, the next question is, or next character is Garrett. Because, let's be honest, Garrett's awesome. Oh, I mm. forgot to get that book for me. It's cool. We'll what insert book? a picture. For Garrett. I forgot we had Garrett on the list. Uh, what, what book is that? I am number four. <laughs> She's trying to read my notes. I don't think I have that book. I am, I am number four. Yeah. I don't have that book. That's okay. We'll put a picture in. Well, yeah, I'll insert Funny a picture trail. into the... <laughs> Anyways, so uh, the question is, a character you didn't like but won you over in the end. You want me to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so my character is Rysan because in the first book you really don't like him because he's kind of the villain in the first book and then in the other books you realize he's just the sweetest like most I'm like oh. <laughs> I'm, sorry, about I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm read it. I'm fangirling about this book I just still love it I might reread this book series sometime soon but oh my gosh <laughs> Rysan he won me over like he really did second actually he won me over in the second book because the second book's amazing and he's hot. What he's described is hot. Like, okay. <laughs> um, I picked Mark from I Am Number Four. If you've read the book or seen the movie, uh, I suggest the book. Uh, he he is very unlikable at the beginning. He's very much the bully, and then um, you don't get too much into his background. But he comes out to be actually a very decent person by the end of it. And I think that's really common with, especially in teen books. We were all crazy as teens, even if we, I think, were the light, lighter version we, of yeah, crazy. Yeah, we were the, like, mild version of crazy. All teens are crazy. Yeah. If you weren't crazy as a teen, I, I feel as though you're not being honest with yourself. Yeah. Like, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Teen years are awkward. Yeah. People said, oh, I want to relive it. Why? Why? I didn't dislike my teens. I just don't need to redo it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... The next character is Cheyenne, because we have to include Cheyenne. She's cool. I like Cheyenne. I like Cheyenne, too. And the question is, a character that's naive but smart, because I feel like Cheyenne's naive, but she's still really smart. She's actually really very smart. smart. She I can mean, figure things out quite... Yeah. She's not traditional, like, A-plus smart, but she figures things out. Yeah. And she's very... I think they call it emotionally smart. She picks up on people really easily, what they need and such. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Um, I picked Cassia, I think I'm saying that right, from the Match series. She has, she is extremely smart. But she's so naive on, even in her own city, what's really going on. Yeah. And towards the end, she figures it out. But some of it, she should have already known. Yeah. For sure. Uh -uh. So. Bring that here. She's got a screwdriver. You don't need to play with that. I got a real screwdriver. <sighs> not a kid's screwdriver. A proper one. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Um, so I picked Elena or Elena. I don't even know how to say it. Elena? Lena? Elena? As they say in Sunday school, whoever's saying it, said it right. So I picked her because even though she's very smart, I feel like she's still really naive about some things, mm -hmm. especially when she's thrust into the Grisha world. She's very naive about that world and just naive about other things too and I mean she's still really smart and she yeah. can figure things out but I still really thought thought like she was very naive in this book yeah so the last That's... character oh, last but not least, least is Mateo Mateo a character cool name by the way yes Mateo is, Kick is butt a name. Cool I like it um so the question is a character with an unknown secret so I picked Rexy Hood, and she's in, I have her copy of Wanted, but it's the second in the Spelled series. I'm not going to tell you her secret, but it's a good one. Like, it's Mateo level good. Mm. I won't tell you Mateo's secret. Secrets. Mm. He's got a few. But well, he's, he's got, got a, a few, big one. A he's big got a really, one. really, yeah. like, life-altering really. big one. Mm -hmm. And so does she, and I, I haven't finished Wanted, but it's like, girl, you got to tell somebody. You got to tell somebody. <laughs> I haven't read the series yet, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a good time. 
Um, so I picked Hindu. Uh, Hindu? 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 I don't know how to say his name. Um, he said Sunday school rules. Hindu Tanaka. Yeah, Sunday school rules. So I, he has a really big, big secret and it doesn't come out in this book until the very end. And you're like, what? 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 Yeah. I so <laughs> I picked him because his secret is big. Yeah. It's another big one. Yeah. Good book. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so that's all for the Superstore book tag, which we're really excited about. So, so I don't know. Do we tag? Should we tag anybody? Or I would we say just... if you want to do it, do it. And then just put in the comments, hey, I did the tag. Yeah. And let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you guys decide to do this tag because we would love you guys if you would do spread this tag around. Yeah, and we would. Whatnot. So, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because we really enjoy when you like our videos. And then hit subscribe if you like to see more. Oh, and I am like, I think it's like I'm three subscribers away from 100. What? Which is awesome i am so thrilled so if you guys get me to 100 i think i'm gonna do a giveaway but i just have to decide what book i want to give away <laughs> so uh so yes yeah, definitely subscribe and um, we'll if i the, get to 100 then we'll put I'll, the questions in the description down in the doobly -doo. yeah we'll put all the questions in the box and all my social media links and stuff all down there i mean we'll leave it all in the box <laughs> But anyways, so um, yeah, I don't. I that's mean, it. I that's think all that's I got. it. I think that's it. Yeah. So. Gummy bear for the road. Oh, you couldn't get take a gummy bear for the road. Yeah, I am. You're <laughs> gonna get the diarrhea. I'm not. <laughs> gonna get the road. No, nope, sure not. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I suppose we will see you guys next time in our our next video, which should be exciting. It should. Yeah. So definitely look, look, keep an eye out for it because we're cool. Well, at least okay. we think we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> and see. And bye. Bye. Um, so I picked Dry Sam because in the first book, in the, the, oh, I just totally whacked her in the face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay.